I often get chemical engineers, mechanical engineers, and guys from Tripoli texting me about doing master's degrees abroad in their core domain. And I often advise them against it, and I get a little bit of backlash. The only reason why I say no to these programs and related programs is because hiring is very, very limited in these core sectors, be it the US or honestly any other foreign country. But of course, I always have a solution, and today's video sort of addresses that, where I'm going to be talking about an extremely powerful degree for all of you folks who come from the non-circuit branches. It's not only people who write code who are having all the fun. Industrial engineers do very well as well. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this very powerful degree known as the Masters in Industrial Engineering. Now, if you've been following Gradwine's videos, engineering management comes up a lot. And engineering management is a popular degree that keeps popping up because most engineers in India want to do something other than engineering. And it seems like a convenient degree. But the Industrial Engineering program is almost the OG engineering management degree. And it has been popular for decades before engineering management became so mainstream. The original engineer's MBA talks about the management of industries. You'll have to understand that engineering in the older times before code took everything over was largely to do with manufacturing, construction, supply chain and the movement of goods and physical objects. And that's where industrial engineering came into being. Industrial engineering, like the name suggests, has everything to do with the conversion of raw materials to finished products. And this is a massive and long supply chain. So everything from material sourcing, processing within the industry, improving the efficiency of manufacturing processes, improving the efficiency of people who are running the machinery, and also putting out a finished product at the lowest possible cost in the least amount of time, at the highest amount of quality with the least amount of wastage. Now, I've explained this simply, but you can sort of comprehend how complex the entire art of this degree is. Now, because of the wide applications of this degree, any processing industry, any manufacturing plant, any logistics company will have use for industrial engineers. So, whether you want to work for a core manufacturing company or within the pharma sector or a chemical processing unit or even at Amazon where you're dealing with supply chain, industrial engineers have roles and openings all over. Because of the number of verticals and sectors industrial engineering opens you up to, it's far better than staying in your niche in something like a civil engineering or a chemical engineering or a mechanical engineering where the sectors itself don't sponsor too many H-1B visas and the number of job opportunities are limited. The broad range of opportunities industrial engineering opens you up to and the very relevant education which it provides you with makes it an incredibly strong degree. So now that we've established that the industrial engineering degree is good, you have to keep in mind that unlike a computer science which has the widest range of opportunities, for industrial engineering, there are a set of 10 to 15 universities you want to go to for you to secure jobs. Some of the finest industrial engineering programs include the University of California at Berkeley, the University of Michigan at Ann Arbor, Georgia Tech, the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, Purdue, Texas A&M, North Carolina State, Penn State, and if you're looking at slightly safer and even more reasonable universities, something like a state university of New York at Buffalo is very good along with Clemson University. Now, of course, I might have missed out a few names, but these are among the very best programs which will almost guarantee you a job after you graduate. Now, let's talk about how much an industrial engineering degree is going to cost you in terms of tuition fee and living and what you can expect to earn after that. So, for most of the good programs that I've mentioned, the tuition fee for the entire program will range between $50,000 to $75,000 for a university that's more expensive like Columbia for the entire program. Now, why I've given you a range and a summary is because it's extremely confusing for you to calculate these tuition fees on the websites because the program durations vary, the number of credits vary, and there's a whole lot of factors. What you'll need to understand is that typically, if you're doing a non-thesis track industrial engineering program, you can finish it in one and a half years, which is plenty. And for that one and a half year period, you can expect to pay somewhere around the $50,000 to $75,000 max in terms of tuition fee. I'll also cover living costs briefly, even though we've done it in previous videos, but this is just a reminder. Depending on the location, whether you're staying in New York City or a campus town, you'll be paying between $1,000 to $1,500 per month for the entire duration of the program. So if you're looking at an 18-month program, you can do a little bit of simple math, add the tuition fee that I mentioned, and add the living expenses, and understand how much you're going to be spending for the entire degree. On average, in terms of starting salaries, for the range of universities that I mentioned, which are the really good ones, starting salaries vary between $75,000 to about $105,000 if you go to something like a University of Michigan. So based on what I've told you, you can see that tuition versus return on investment, it makes a lot of sense 
provided you go to the right universities within the OPT period you should pay off your education loan or whatever it is pretty safely. So that was my explanation of the industrial engineering degree what makes it good how much it costs what you can expect to make after you graduate. I hope this information was useful. If you want more such no nonsense information you can join our WhatsApp communities where I will be on board along with the rest of my team and also over 3000 masters applicants who are applying in the future where you can have constructive discussions about various programs. Additionally, if you want a personalized consultation, you can always schedule a free consultation call using the link in the description. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that our content reaches more eyes.